Okay, okay. And can you be getting that? And you said that that's like uh, you, you want to send me. You're you're trying to send me something in last yes, night. Yes, yes, yes. I yeah, you will be getting it immediately. You'll be getting it right away. You please check your mail. Okay, that is the uh, lessons. That is the uh, course material. The PPT, PowerPoint presentation. You'll be getting it right away. Okay. So in the videos, you could. Uh, so you did the what? Um, then uh, you did filtering data, sorting data. That was day before the video, right? Yeah, the the order by the the one order by class, order. right? Yeah, order by class. Yeah. You, you remember where we start the fifth day? We were writing. You remember where we started yesterday? Something, something. Yeah, where we stopped this today. We wasn't. Okay, I can. Uh, we we stopped at. Right. Add months, months between next day, last yes, day, yes, round. Yes, we, remember? Yes. 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 So we'll continue. Yes, please. We'll continue. Are you connected? Yes, I am. Okay. Line five, page five is all set. Okay. Yeah, now let's get into conversion functions. Okay. The next category of scalar functions, conversion functions. Okay. Yeah. What are the conversions? To underscore date. What will they do? They will help us convert one type of data to other. Okay. Yes. To care will convert to character. To date will convert to date. Okay. What can get converted to character and what can get converted to date? Okay. A numeric value can, can get converted to a character. A value can get converted to a character or a date can get converted to a character. We have basic three types of data. Numeric data, character data and date data. If you want to see date as a string, either you may have to use this function. You may have to see a numeric value as some in different format. Format we need to see use this function to care. Okay. Fresh 29th. Okay. 29th June 2017. Today's date is like this. Mm -hmm. You are not happy looking at the date like this. You cannot understand the date in this format. Yeah. Yes. So you may want it in a different way. You may want it on the output in a new sort of only way. You may want it like this: twenty-nine plus zero six plus thirteen. You may want yep. it in this format. Yep. How can we get data in this format? So we will use a two care function. Two care function convert the date. Okay, convert the date to whichever format we want it. Okay. We will use a two-care function to convert the date to whichever format we wanted. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. what are the format specifiers? What are the format specifiers? Observe carefully. If I say DDPH, DDPH is a format specifier. DDPH. Uh, you, 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 you're 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 Okay. DDTH is yeah. uh, okay. first, second, twenty ninth, third. You get it like that. Ordinal names, ordinal names. First, okay, digits. Second, thirtieth, three zero TH. This is what you get with DDTH. It is a format specifier. Okay. Okay. DDSPTH will spell the date. DDSPTH will spell the date. Okay, 28, yeah. 29th, today is 29th, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, month yeah. M-O-N-T-H will give you month J-U-N-E. Okay. If you month. give M-O-N, it will give you abbreviated month J-U-N. Okay, okay, yes. If you give M-M, two-digit month, it will give you 06. 
Okay. Zero six. Okay. Day. If you specify D A Y day, it will give you weekday, Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. If D Y yes. is abbreviated weekday. Yes. Okay. So we you know we should be very careful with the case. Okay. What about the case? Okay, D Y. D is in uppercase and Y is in lowercase. So W would be in uppercase and E D would be in lowercase. Yeah. Instead, if you do like this, D Y all in lowercase, W E D in lowercase. Yeah. We do D A Y in lowercase Wednesday or Thursday. Today is Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday will be in lowercase. Okay. Yes. So when so you're D, comparing, we should be very no, in, in D Y, so if you put both in uppercase. W E D in uppercase. Okay. W E D in uppercase. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes. Why? 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 We'll give you. You're in four digits. Yes. Yeah. Y E A R. We'll spell the year. Yeah. Two uh, Yeah. If you want a time. If you want, yeah. If you want a time, mm -hmm. H H colon M I colon S S in A M P M format. These are format specifiers. <laughs> you need to use them as how you wanted to see. If you yeah. wanted to see D D M M Y Y, use it. If you wanted to see, okay, a month name spelled, use use accordingly. Based on the format specifiers you use, you would be getting the output. Okay. okay? You wanted a 24-hour format, yes, HH24, colon MI, colon SS. This would be a 24-hour format. Okay, yes. Yes. Now, let's do an example. Okay. okay. I'm I'm looking at today's date. Today's date is today's date, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. This date is a built-in function which is going to give you today's date. I'm looking at today's date in this format. But the format okay. specifier has to be given in single quotes. Select to care is a function you're calling and with to care function you want to see today's date as BDTH 29th of June 2017 from the Why didn't say okay it's a DDTH oh okay okay yes why is off in double quotes off is not any format specifier off is some additional text I need to bring in because I wanted a meaningful output okay Right? Yeah. So it is D D T H of M O N. Please do this. I'm doing it, yes. yes. Yeah, it's uh, it came out twenty ninth of June twenty seventeen. Uh, okay, D D T H of okay, of June. I said month in uh, capsule letter and then it come it came out to the small one. Like Okay, yes. so see, yes, sorry. Really... Okay, yes. okay. Ma I said month and why, why, why? Okay, so okay. If I say in month in caps, it will come in caps, right? Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yes, I, I got it. Yes. Yes. See the next one. What are we trying to do with the next one? Mm -hmm. Now the same sysdate function. You want to see with the date and time. D D M M Y Y and time. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Two car. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yes. That's, that's, that's the function. Command. Which that's is the function. To, okay. Yes, that's a function. D D. H twenty. How I. Uh, is it like really? Uh, I'm I'm just curious. Like, is it is is this function really uh, uh, used in like in developing or something or uh, yes, in development? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes, they use. See your data. Your date is D D M M Y Y D D M O N Y Y. You cannot show the same output on the report. People may not like it. They want it in different formats. Okay. So based on so based on the requirement, you you decide the format. So how do you like put into reports like uh, so that SQL uh, uh, software has the report formats or when you put uh, no 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 it's on this is only the back end there will be tools who can get connected to the front end okay. there will be tools which will help us get connected to the back end 
okay, so in, get you the reports. Okay, okay. So in those tools, you can you can report them. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just 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 think. Can I can I ask you uh, what kind of uh, uh, yeah? I, I went into the properties for of the uh, SQL prompt and can how how do you get this uh, this uh, this poll? The one you have, I like the one you have. It's I tried to get the one you have, but I can't get them. The bold, the character is it? The font size? Yeah, the font size. I put the bold. Oh, yes, and but uh, wait, wait. Right click properties here. Yeah. Yes. You have the font, right? Yes. Increase the size. Make it okay. take a bigger size. Okay. See? Take a bigger size. Uh, I'm just curious what you have. Like, I like the one you have, so because I tried everything yes. and then it's. I'll go for 12 into 16. See? Oh, this that's is what I have. Oh, I it don't is, have. It is not that big. Yes. No, okay. So the one is okay. For me, but but there's a size. But thing is, it's only like 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I don't, I don't see my 16 to 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 into 8. Oh, oh, yes. I'll tell you why, why. Because you have a lower version of the software, Oracle Express Edition. That is what we install. Mine is Enterprise Edition, a licensed one. Oh, okay, it's licensed one. Maybe okay. Huh? Maybe that's the reason. I guess yes. Yeah, that's the reason. Yes. Even I now I get the difference. Why you are not getting the option? What I am getting? That's because okay. of uh, the version okay. what we have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So we be here. We be here, Chris. You got the time, Chris? Yes, I got the time. Yes. So uh, I'm trying to list. I'm trying to list all employees who joined us on a Monday. Okay. Yeah. How do we get all employees who joined us on a Monday? Right. Where, 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 so yeah. care of high date in DY format is MON Monday. Yes. So this is two character. This is abbreviated weekday in lowercase. So we yeah. compare with weekday in lowercase. MON. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is it. So with this, you can answer people who joined us in the month of February. People yes. who joined us in a particular year, particular month, yes. particular day, anything we can answer, right? Because we know how to pull out that data. Select staff from employer where two care data, high data is okay. Two care, high day, higher data, okay, high date. So I'm, I'm, I'm always getting confused. To should I be putting DY first or high data? Like in in all the previous. Uh, no, no, no. Like first the, no, no. First. First is the expression, the column name, and then the format in which you want to see. Oh, okay. And then you okay, okay. I now understand. Yes, thank you. Yes, the DY is. So that's a Monday. You said that's a Monday, right? Day is a Monday. Yes. Yeah, okay. Monday, yes. Okay, high day DY is Monday. That's the only employer who's in Monday. Okay. If but if I want to like put put the uh, hard day as in lower lower case the same the same output. In which format you wanted to see? See, I have given DY here. This is the format in which you want to see oh, the okay. high data. So okay. you specify the format in which format you want to see. You want to see only the month of higher date? Okay. Now specify M O N T H. Where month equal to what? January. No, but when, month when equal I, to M O. When I say D A Y S as, as as in caps, uppercase and D A Y all, all the three. In, okay. D A Y all three in caps. Yes. You have given. Yes, I what got no, output? no row selected. Yes, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why no row selected because there is some space, blank space. Monday is just three six characters. But we yeah. have a weekday, Thursday, which is much longer than Monday. So we need to say trim of this. Remember trim, L trim, R trim. So we have trim also. Simply okay. to remove blank space. Can, can you repeat why? Why, why, why does it, why does it not okay, work? Why? Uh, we have a weekday, Thursday. Thursday, which is around yes. eight characters long, 
we have yes. Wednesday, W E D N E S D A Y, which is nine characters long. So yeah. there are nine nine characters in this field. So every output will be nine characters. So Monday, okay. what would have happened? It's only six characters. There would be blank spaces, three blank spaces. Internally, database will treat it like blank space. So yes. when you compare it with Monday, it is not matching, right? It's not matching. Monday oh. with blank space is not same as Monday. Okay, but we're not giving any blank space here, right? That's we are uh, not giving, but it will return the two care function in DAY format will return Monday with some blank spaces. We are not giving Chris. The oh, function so, so, will automatically return. So DAY only uh, specifies six characters and not eight. No, what Monday you... has only six characters. Okay. Uh, to get the output, just use a trim. That's all. Just use trim of this equal to Monday. Trim of the whole function equal to Monday. That's it. Okay. okay. Wait, trim. Okay, trim. No, of course I'll get it. But thing is, uh, so I just had the question like, why? Would, I know, I know you're trying to, you're trying to explain me, but I'm not getting it. It's my problem, but uh, so I, I know Thursday and Wednesday has eight characters, but Monday is only six, right? So, so when yeah. I say okay, when I say that when I say M O N M O N is in caps, or Monday is in caps, uh, shouldn't be? I, th I thought it should it should return with 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 Monday as the one which has Monday. Yeah, then like why won't? That's the question. Why? No, no. When you give M D Y, it's abbreviated weekday. What it would it would return? It would return only three character output. Okay. M O N yeah. or F R I or S A T or T H U or W E D. Yes. So there is no point in uh, blank spaces. There is no point in trimming and padding. It's perfectly yes. matching. Yes. But when you give D A Y, complete weekday, you want it. Okay. So there the confusion comes because there is a weekday which is much longer than what Friday because Friday is only six characters, Monday yes. is only six characters. Yes. There are weekdays which are much longer than Friday. Yes. Wednesday and Thursday are longer. Yes. So there would be some blank spaces put for Friday and Monday. Okay. So when you compare this output with it, just M O N D A Y, it doesn't match. Okay. That is why you you are not getting the output. Okay. So with trim you are getting the output. So we are what are, what is trim doing? Trim is just removing those blank spaces. Okay. Okay. Trim. Okay. Trim. Okay, now I got the same one, yes. Okay. Yes. That was two care with date values. Now yes. let's see two care with numeric values. Yeah. Where are we going to use it on a numeric field? Uh, we have a salary field, salary. Salary of the employee is not blank padded with the, it's not uh, padded with decimal zeros. Salary of the employee is just the values. Yes. Oh, if you want to have decimal zeros and also if you want to, uh, to give some dollars or something like that, okay, with the thousand separator, okay, you cannot give thousand separator as a value. You, you'll get an error. So you can use a two care function, convert the salary field to be a character field in whichever format you wanted to see. See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to convert salary to this format, 9, 999, mm -hmm. coin zero, 00. I have a four digit salary, so I'm giving a format of four nines. This is a wildcard digit. It can replace any digit in my salary. Yes. Yeah and then decimal point and zero 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 okay okay two decimal zeros from the table emp now look how salary is displayed i'm comparing both i'm actually showing you the actual salary and also the salary in a transformed way yeah 
this will make it look neat. Okay, from EMP. Missing an interpersonal team, BMP self to Yes, uh, it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so say it's like a dollar. I mean, like what what we did is like something dollars yeah, and then I'm appending a dollar. Yes, I'm getting a thousand separator for my salary and then displaying that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's about two care function with the with the date and number. Now let's go for two date function. What will two date do? Two date will convert an invalid date to a valid date. Okay. Okay. Whenever we need, we pass any date in Oracle, it should be dd hyphen mon hyphen yy. Anything else other than that is not a record. It's not a valid format. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So what is my date? 17 slash 29 slash 06. This is my date. 17 slash 29 slash 06. What is it? Is it DDMONYY or it is YYDDMOMM? We don't know. So don't know. how have you entered? You give it, you give your format? Yeah. My input is in this format. So Oracle will automatically convert this to a valid date. It will show us 29 hyphen JUN hyphen 17 hyphen okay yeah okay. select two date 172906 from GL. Yeah, it's uh, 29 June 17. Yeah. Yes. So any Gone. invalid date, okay. any date but, but, in invalid format. But, no, I, no. Okay. No, I have a question, right? So we we, we were specifying in YYDDMM format, right? Yes. D, no, 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 no. We were specifying in, yeah, that's our input. That gets converted to DDMON YY format. That, that, so that's the standard ones. You saying that's a standard one. That is okay. what this function two date does. Anything okay. you give, it will convert it to a standard one. Okay. Okay. So, but when is this change, used? But 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 if you want to change it, you can change it, right? That's that's the. Yeah, you can see it however you want it. Okay, so I can change it to like select two date seventeen twenty nine set zero six in uh, in quotations. I can say how do I say if I want to like if I want to go. Uh, date at the end, or or month at the month in the starting point. Then you give it like this. So you say zero six is the month. Yeah. Then you give the year, and then you give the date. Now you tell database. You tell Oracle, this is my input. What is your input? Your input is in this format. M N. Uh, okay. No, but I want to say like. Yeah. This is your input. And this gets converted to a valid format of date? Yes. Okay. Okay. So but when is two date used? Two date is used when you pass some input to the database. Okay. When you pass when you give some input to database, two date is used. Yes. Okay. Uh, because when you're giving some inputs, you may not know Oracle's format. So you give however you want it. Yes. When is two care used? Two care is used when you get some output from the database. To get an output from database, yes. Yes, you want to see in whichever format you want it. Yeah. It is stored as D D M O N Y Y only, but you want to see it in a different way. Then you okay. go to use a two care function. Okay. Can, 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 yes. can, repeat that, can, can, can you repeat that, please? Two care is used when you pull some data out from the database, outside the database to show to others. Okay, yes. Show in whichever form you want it. Whereas two date is used when we take some input from an external source into the database because okay. the external source may not understand Oracle's format of it. He gives in some way. 
but when I take this to Oracle, I would get an error. So before me taking it to Oracle, I will convert it into a valid Oracle date and then take it inside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Understanding? Yeah. Okay. That's about conversion functions, two date and two care, which can be used on columns of any data type. Now we'll go for generic functions. What are these generic functions? Okay. These Just are the functions. Which uh, but uh, so I, I tried the last one you said, and it still comes for 29 June 17. I want months. Yes, it will. Start. Okay, it will. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It will give you, it is giving you the right output. Whatever you do, it will give you that way only. If you okay. want month in the beginning, then you go for the two care function, Chris. Oh yes. You use two care. Okay. You want to see it in a different way, right? Then you use yes. two care. Okay. Yeah. This will give you the standard way only. Okay. Making sense? Two date is channel. Yes. 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 Okay. Generic functions. These are the functions which has made Oracle very popular. How? What happens here? These are the functions which can be called on columns of any data type. Yeah. You can call these functions on a numeric column. You can call these functions on a date column, on a character column, anything. Okay. NVL, mm -hmm. NVL, a decode case. These are the three functions. NVL stands for null value function. Uh -huh. It's very popular. It's very, very popular. What is null value function doing? If a column has a null value, Okay, it will show a default value in in that place. Yeah. If a column has a null value, there is a commission column which has so many null values. You yeah. don't want to show it as null. <coughs> Why? Because the external source cannot understand what is null of Oracle. Yes. yes. So instead of showing it as null, you bring a default value there 10. I'm showing it as 10. Okay. So wherever yeah. the co commission column is null, it is shown as 10. Okay. Okay, commission, okay. So can you give, them, give me an example uh, other than this database, like for example, what you had for, from your experience? Uh, when would this work? No, like, no, no, in most, okay, let me t tell you. There is a customer base where we have the details of the customer, email ID, telephone numbers, state, city, zip code and things yes. like that. Most yeah. of the customers have not shared their email IDs. So yeah. when I get a report, email IDs would be null. So yeah. this report is some other application. I read the data from Oracle and show it on some Excel or something. I show oh. it in another application. So okay. Excel, people using Excel may not understand what is null of Oracle. Okay, so Definitely, you say that, right? so, so you say not applicable. Yes. Okay. Yes, you say not applicable. Making okay. sense? You say okay. not applicable there. Instead of leaving it blank, you can yeah. show it null also. But okay. here I'm showing 10. But 10 is wrong. Yeah. Somebody looking at 10 will assume 10 is your commission. This employee yes. earns the yeah. commission 10 and he would build a logic on that. Mm -hmm. It makes more sense if I show not applicable there. See, I've done it. Not applicable in that place. But how can that be possible? Not applicable is a string, right? It's a single yeah. quoted string. Commission yes. is a numeric field. If you yes. want to bring some character under a numeric field, just assume commission to be a character field using two care function. Okay. Yeah. Now this is yeah. where. What is the power of built-in functions? Okay. Yes. We are just assuming it to be like this, and then showing it not applicable as not applicable. Okay. Two care. Okay. No. Okay. So you so you think that you can change you can change the function of the uh, yeah, function of the table just by using a two care. No, I'm not changing the. No, function no, not the function of the table, table, but like in the, the uh, what is it called? Like, uh, the data type of the column. I'm just yeah, assuming it to be character. I'm not changing, making any permanent change. I'm yeah, just okay. assuming it to be a character, and okay. if that field is having a null value, show sure not applicable in all those places, wherever okay. it has null. Show not applicable oh. in all those places. Just okay. a second, I'll get that. Just a second. Yeah. yeah. Okay, from employee. Okay, now I got it.
Yes, Krish. Done with both of them? Yes, yes. Now I got it. So, so you can actually see, okay, yeah, we're not changing the functionality of the table itself, the character of the table, but it's just we're assuming it needs to be changed. Exactly. Like, this is only for that report. I need to show it to, say to somebody, I'm showing it. But actually, yeah. the data in the table is safe. It is not disturbed at all. So how do you know it's a null value though? Because so, you have like tons and tons, so many tables in there, right? How do we know it's a null value? Like, it is, nothing is shown there, right? Remember okay. the first, second day we wrote a select start of ENT and I yeah. showed you there was nothing under those columns? Yes. Uh, it means it's null. This is yeah. how null is shown in SQL plus? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There are, okay, there are different other interfaces, okay, uh, which will show null as NU LL in uppercase. Yeah. Some will show null as NU LL in lowercase. So in, the, in those kind of places, there's no much of confusion. The confusion is only here when there is nothing shown. So what will people assume? What will people think? Yes. So, so it's, then uh, it's good to, yes. The, hello? They think that... Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, they think that it's, uh, they, they can understand what null value, null is. Yeah, not what null is a part of. So we do yeah. like this. Uh, output is user friendly. So that the output is user friendly? Yes. That's it. Okay? Yeah. Now. Uh, so, so, so my yes, question is, yes. so, can, can I ask you one thing? So the, the errors, right, the errors itself. So when I, when I, when I, when I, when I was trying it last night, they, they have so many errors when I'm doing it. So how do we identify through the errors? Like, you know, because I'm really... So read a, the error message. Okay. Read the error message. It will tell you you're missing something. You are wrong somewhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I was trying to read the error message too, and it's like, I, I, it's really hard. Like, it's, I don't know. You have to, no, no, no. Because it's for the first time, you're not getting it. You have to practice. You keep working on it. You okay. keep doing SQL for some time. Then you'll be very familiar with all the messages. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Thank what you. What would have gone wrong there and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, NVL was only looking at a null value and showing it as something? Yes. If there is a need to look at every value in the column of the table and show it as something else. Okay. Then we have another function or a construct called as decode. Decode will work like a if-else structure in a query. Decode will act like an if-else construct in a query. Okay. So, what will decode do? If the column is like this, then it will show it like this. Decode is going to break every column value into something else, based on however you want it. Okay? So, okay. let's see this example. Yeah. Select employee number, name, department number, decode department number. I'm calling the decode function on department number field. Yeah. Wherever department number is 10, it is shown as sales. Wherever department number is 20, it is shown as purchase. Yeah. Yes? Can you, uh, Bharti, I think uh, I, I barely can hear you, like your like low voice. Sorry. A name. Okay. Department. I'm calling. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Yeah, yeah it's better now. Uh, no, it's not that okay. we're not, we not, we not breaking up. It's just like low, the voice is way too low. It's hard to understand for me. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I change my tone as I speak. I don't oh. speak in the same tone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you, so you've, been, you've, been, uh, okay, doing, so you've been doing this since morning, right? So I understand. Exactly. Uh, no, no, I, I say in, even in the classroom, we cannot speak in the same tone, right? People Fair will enough. lose my, they'll get disconnected with my wavelength, with my yeah. voice and uh, this one. So I keep uh, fluctuating my volume. 
sometimes I'll be low and sometimes I'll be very high suddenly. So they'll have the curiosity to concentrate in the class. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true, that's true. That is Okay, I have uh, people of around 15, 16 years of experience in industry attending oh. my session for three days, yesterday, today and tomorrow. So, why would, lots, why would, lots why would to they, talk in this. Why would then, why would they come to your, your shows? Like they, they have experience, they have everything, right? No, not like that. They, they may be experts in X and they need to learn Y. So definitely they need to attend some learning. They need to oh, have okay. some learning internally. Organization would force them. Le learning is always going to happen, Krish. Be prepared to unlearn and learn. Okay. There will be a lot of challenges. Life is going to start in a simple way. But to yeah. have, have a career a strong in IT, a lot yeah. of competition, right? And every day there is a new technology coming yes. up in the market. Yeah. So somehow, somewhere, Things are getting related and you you may be somebody, you may be working as a test engineer, you may be working as an architect, you may be working as a module lead, the team yes. lead, you may be into support, you may be into maintenance. Actually, yes. I'm spending these days with people who are working in the insurance domain. They are not IT guys. They are not into software. Oh, okay. They are working for insurance company. Okay. okay. They, were, they are reinsurers. Swiss Re. Have you heard about Swiss Re? I don't know. No. They are uh, predominantly in Switzerland. Okay. okay. Not uh, other. so. I'm teaching these guys. So what are what are they into? They're all uh, experts with 15 years experience on statistics. They have done oh. their MBAs. They are into oh. accounts and they are into things like that. Oh, okay. Okay. IT technology database SQL is it is all uh, Greek and Latin for them. Yes. So, but they work on tools. They work on some tools, okay, which yes. uh, which gets connected to backend, which yes. gets connected to database, which yes. which pulls out reports for them and yes. shows it as some numbers, as some metrics and some graphs. Okay. okay. Now, yes. they are comfortable with all this also. But what is the challenge they face if they have to tweak something in the code to get oh. a customized report? Yes. They have to go behind and write some code. They have to yes. go behind the yes. tool. The, there are when uh, n vendors in industry. Microsoft gives you a list of tools. IBM gives you some tools. Oracle yes. gives you so many tools. Okay, yes. uh, you have uh, SAS, you have Hadoop, you have Ana, you have uh, Kaleido, Informatica, Cognos, SSIS. You have varieties of them. But yes. if you want to make some slight tweaking, customization in the code, you must yes. be very strong in a skill. You must be yeah. very strong in database. Each and a single comma, a single inverted comma, a quote, and a semicolon is going to make a great difference. Yes. You should know database thoroughly. So that I think is why. I, I, think, I, think, I think by le them learning it this way, I don't think they can do much. Right? They, cause like you said, like, you know, for them to like go back and tweak something, you got to have a lot of they experience. Won't do much. To, like, Yes, they won't do much. They have to do very little only. But to do that little okay. also, they need to learn something properly. Because yes. it's a customer project, right? It's real time. It's not, uh, what to say, a dummy one or a development one or a test. It's not a test lab. It's a real time no. project. Yeah. So, uh, they, they have to take the ownership. Yes. Be prepared. Responsibility, ownership. Yes, it's my job. I did a mistake. I will fix it. I will figure out what it is. So, keep yourself open to learn at any time. Yes, thank you. I'll try that, yes. <laughs> that is how industry runs these days. No, yeah. it's not these days, it's always. Uh, always, okay? yeah, it's true. It's always. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. um, one more thing, so, so, you, so you want me to go at 9.30 or like, I don't understand, like you said that it's 10.30, right? So, you want you want to go at like like 10, uh, 10 o'clock your time, so did you change the time or like the TV, the, those guys, your third party guys change the time? Third party has changed the time because it's too late for them to end the video, to end the recording because they own everything. I don't own anything. I only speak to you. I, oh. I know where I'm connected. I just share my experience and teach the subject with you. I'm nowhere connected okay. in other ways with you. So they okay. take the ownership. They record the session. They send the invite. They send the link and things like that. So oh. it is getting too late for them to go back because all this happens from office for them. Okay, yes. so it's too late for them to go back closing the shop to home. So oh, I said, okay. okay. Anyway, my internet issues are fixed. 
So yeah, okay, there should not be any problem. That's good. That's okay. good. Yeah. No, because I I want to make you comfortable. That's nothing else. Like if no, you, I'm if comfortable. You... I'm done with my day's work. I'm done with my day's work. After okay. I'm done with my dinner too. After the session, I'll go to sleep. That's it. With okay, my, thank with you. My, that's it. He's also done with everything. Okay. okay. I just to ensure that he is through with his uh, school assignments and he's eight plus years and a lot of stuff to make him do at home. A lot of yeah. homework and studies and things like that. It's too much of competition here in India. If kids don't perform right from day one, they're going to have it. The parents are under great pressure. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> what to do. That's the problem, right? So are you, you from Hyderabad or? No, no, I'm from Bangalore. I'm a look. I'm a Bangalorean yeah. since uh, over 40 years now. I'm 40 years old, and uh, since 40 years, I'm a Bangalorean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you come to Bangalore any time? Uh, no. When I when I left India, when I left India, one after uh, after the college, uh, yeah. I, I I I went to Chennai for uh, for okay. engineering. Okay. Right. For engineering, I, you went to Chennai. Yeah, after Chennai. After engineering, you moved to US. That's it. Yeah, and that's it. Did your masters and you settled there? No, we we are actually in Canada. Okay, okay. Right, and we're uh -huh. actually in Canada, and then we just settled down here, like nothing else. So as soon as I finished my college, the next the next thing I did was like leave. Okay. <laughs> so there, I, I only just for your college, you went there. Just for your college, you went. You were born yes. in Canada itself. No, 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 no. I was actually like I, like I, said, I went to school. I went to engineering engineering in Chennai. I'm from my I'm from. Uh, uh, Vijayawada from Andhra Pradesh, Andhra, right? Okay. And then I went to college in like Chennai, and then the next day after finished my college in uh, civil engineering, like civil, I just I just left the next day. Like I couldn't. I have only two options: to go and work in the big cities like Bombay or Madras or Chennai. I mean Chennai, Bangalore, or Hyderabad, or work in my hometown, like with farming, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I, I I couldn't take both. <laughs> Oh, okay. I can't okay. take Bangalore at all. I can't take Chennai. I can't take. It's just too crowded for me. Yes, it is. It is India. It is like that. So what to do? Okay, your engineering was in civil, is it? Yes, yes. So like I said, like I did, okay. I did, I did master's here, and then I got the job, and everything is fine. But I just like okay. you have, you, I want. The thing is, sometimes you want to switch your, you want to switch your, uh, your career. Sometimes. Okay. Currently, right? like, you are on job, is it? Currently, you're working somewhere. Yes. You're on job. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah but I think if I okay. want to switch, I actually want to switch. You settled in Canada. Yes. How many years been now uh, you have settled there in Canada? Like uh, eight years now. Eight Seven, years. Eight years. Good yeah. Time. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I left it when I was like 20, 2021. 20, okay, left okay. Left it when I was 20 years okay. old. All right. So. Mm -hmm. But what else? Like, like I said, I, want, I just want to switch because sometimes you need to switch your career. Like if you get too bored in one, yes. one thing. Yes, yes, yes. You need to. You need to. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's boring, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it happens where I meet different people. I speak yeah. to them. I share experience. I learn from them. They give me something. I give them something. So I've been meeting people every day. I, tr I go. I commute here and there. In Bangalore yeah. only. In so Bangalore only. That yeah. way, uh, it keeps me going. I, in fact, I... I like this job of teaching and consulting and speaking. I yeah. anyway, I cannot sit in a place and work. I cannot no, work no. in a cubicle. I no. can never work in a cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that. I did that for seven years in Mind Tree. But oh, somehow, wow. I, that that was just to learn the real time uh, development is all about. What was a customer project? Just to know what is real time all about. I got yeah. into it. Once I knew the uh, got it, I just came out because here yeah. I get a lot of flexibility in planning yes. my work. Yes. If I can, t if I don't want to work, I can take an off. I can. I need not yeah. take up but, that but assignment. You more, but you you work mostly in uh, night evening times, right? Evening and night times. No, no. I work mostly in the day during the oh. regular day time here in oh. India. Okay. okay. Sometimes, like your case, oh, yeah. people on site, I take up these kind of assignments. Oh, okay. I do. I do this. I do this. Usually from 8.30 to 11 IST, 11 p.m. IST, I get into these kind of sessions. Because oh. I have my ex-employer, Mindry, who give me work even now just to teach their employees who are located on site. Okay. Okay. I was, I was part of the organization. I was in with them. So they give okay. me some work. I don't want to say no for that because I have some gratitude, right? Because they were my ex-employers and... Yes, yes. Even now they come back to me. They 
they remember me and things like that. So I work oh. for them. Oh, do you like Bangalore then? I guess yeah. a lot for sure. You yes, know, yes, you, yes. You're born there. Yeah. Born, brought up my parents, my in-laws, everybody in Bangalore. My yeah, friends, I, my relatives, uh, most of too, For me, it's too crowded. Like Bangalore, Chennai, like Hyderabad, Bombay. It's yes, too it's crowded. Like, see, like, like 20 million people live there. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's becoming pathetic day by day. Yeah, Even right. we been here for so many years, we feel now it's becoming very difficult for us to go out, to cope up with the crowd and uh, everything, the pollution, the noise. Pollution, and everything. Like, no, I yes, the, like I said, I had, two options. I had two options to live in Bangalore or like Bombay or to go and work on my farm. Right? I'm like, okay. I, can't do, I can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want I want I want my job like in like, but like in like like really like safe not safe place but it's like more uncrowded like you know like where life goes easier it's not like busy okay. busy all the time so right what is the nature of job you do there now what kind of job you're doing there so it's a uh, it's a uh, utility company uh, mm -hmm. I don't know like BHL right BHL is a utility company like where where they supply mm -hmm. uh, where they supply the uh, uh, electricity. Yes, yes. Yeah, so yes. That, that's what yes. I do actually. That's what the, I did. I, I do some engineering work for them. Like, you know, like uh, okay. to inst install a few things. You, you, you are know. on the field. Well, you don't work sitting in a place. You are on the field. No, no, like, that's the thing. So, are... uh, no, so there are two types actually. One, you had to kind of sit, in the, sit in the cubicle and then, then, then uh, analyze what, what, what should be done. Okay. And there are, there are other people. Who are not who uh -huh. are not who are not who are not engineering, but they they actually are they do some diploma. So what they would like be on the yes field. yes yes right right you would yeah. uh, be, they would be reporting to you you would assign yeah. them tasks and yeah, things exactly. are all in fine and then I will report oh. to my manager right yes 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 so Good. that's how it so works. now you are so planning some... to slowly move. you plan yeah. to move internally itself or you look for yes. some external other organizations. Both actually internally, internally and externally. Yes, good. Like, I'll, I'll internal movement is always good. Yeah, I want yeah, to internal change. movement I would <laughs> prefer yeah. initially because yeah. people know you, they know your caliber. So you even if you uh, do some, uh, so you are slow in performing when you move internally, that would be accepted. But with yeah. an external third party who don't know you, who has not yeah. seen you all these days, you yeah. join and you want to explore a new career path, it would be very challenging. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Yes. We'll come back. We'll come back to decode. Yeah. So I try I try uh, the decode and I try the decode and it's not working. It's like tell the employee name, e name, department number, decode. Department number ten sales. Purchase unknown. Uh S V A E D. So what does this one do? Uh this will convert wherever you have 10 in department number, it will show it as sales. Wherever you have 20 in department number, it will show it as purchase. All others will not be decoded. They will be displayed as unknowns. In the output, you will see sales, purchase are unknown. Okay. So, okay, department number 10, sales, okay. purchase unknown. Maybe something like decode. Okay, decode. Okay. That employee number. E name. Ah, I'm getting error messaging. It's missing right parenthesis. What does that mean? So there must be some closing bracket missing after one more. Oh, that's the parenthesis. Okay. There must be any some commas. Yeah, that's parenthesis. We have EDM name from you. Uh, depart. Oh, maybe there's uh, there's no there's no uh, there's no come of department number. There should be a come of after department number too. Yes, there is. There is comma. There is comma. Okay. ED name. ED name is a column. ED name is an alias name given for the whole thing. Okay, so I'm trying to select the employee number, e-name, department number, decode, 
part when we Six twenty purchase. No, I can't get it. Can you copy on your thing and then see if we can do it? Can you get it? Can you copy and paste it for me on the chat window? I will fix it. I will tell you what's the problem. Can you okay. paste it on the chat window? How do you copy again? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, Just uh, type ed, ed. This will open the code in the oh, editor. ED, right? Okay, ED. Just select everything, control C. Okay, yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yes. Copy and I'll press in the chat window. Where's the chat window? I minimized it somewhere. Okay, I have it up here. Okay, so you got it? Yes, I got it. Yeah, I, I sent you one. Department number. There's a comma. There's a comma here after department number. Oh, you know, I actually did that comma. one too. Okay, I'll I actually did. It. Okay, hold on a second. I actually did that. Okay, what the heck? I'm sending you the other one. I'm sending no, you yeah. mine. Okay. Why is the you SQL just copy paste it from here and why, why is the SQL not command not working? Should I should I like un, un... because ED is open. Close ED. ED close is ED? open because editor is open. Close the editor. Oh, you're gonna close the yes. editor. Okay. Close that file. Okay, then it works. Okay, yeah. Yes, close put a comma and close. Chris, put a comma no, after department number and then close. Yes, I actually did that too. Actually, okay, hold on a second then. Yeah, department number code. Okay, I, 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 did, I did this one too. Okay, I did this one. Number decode, department number 10, comma purchase. There's a comma after purchase. There's a comma after purchase. I think you've given a dot. Oh, that's a dot. There's a comma after purchase. Sorry. Yes, that's a dot. Oh, that's a stupid thing. Sure. Got the output now? Yes, I, I should be. Yes, now I should be. Yes, I got. It. Thank you. Yes, just spend the half two seconds understanding that. Two or three yeah. seconds understanding Select employee number, e name, department number, D code. Okay, can you repeat? Can you, can you, would you mind let me know like what exactly we did here? NDL was only looking at yeah. NDL was only looking at null value and showing it as something either ten or zero or not applicable or something. Now decode is much more capable than NVL. Decode can be used to see to look at every value in the column and show it as something else. So okay. while storing the data in the table, we give everything as abbreviated name abbreviations because we don't want to waste much space. I N N is India, UK is United Kingdom, USA is United States of America, RU is Russia. So you are storing it in abbreviations. But when you're showing this on the output, nobody can understand what it is. So you can use the decode there. Wherever it is IN, show me as India. Wherever it is UK, show me as United Kingdom. So you can break anything to anything. It is okay. like if else. If like this, then show me like this. If like this, then show me like this. That's the power of decode. It's like an if else construct. Department number 10. Okay, sales. Okay, so what is, what's it doing is, you know, okay, decoding, okay. Department number 10. So what's the ED? All the employees whose department number is 10 will be shown yeah. as sales. All the employees whose department number is 20 will be shown as purchase. Okay, what's All that? others, 30, 40, 50, they'll be shown as unknown. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on a second. I, got, I forgot the uh, the table structure and, you know, like what, what did it have? Just tell me. Okay, it, it does 
it doesn't say anything like a department number okay department number 10 yes, yes it does 20 okay i got it so now it does okay so the, the, uh, but this is what i'm it's what I, I got confused how do you put edm name edm like you know where, where do you put edm name okay. it's the alias name it's okay. the alias name for the whole thing this, okay. see first column is employee number yes. second column is employee name third yeah. column is department number yes. fourth column i'm calling this function so i will get the output of this function the whole function i don't want to be shown as a column name so i'm giving an alias name for the column as ed name employee okay. department name yes yes okay employee that's department that's column alias name you remember column alias name so let, yes, let's say that if i if i don't want to say edm name can i can i do that or you leave it yeah you can leave it the column name will be decode the something the initial okay, yes, few characters yes, of this function yes, yes, yes. will be displayed yes yes yes, yes. So, so my question is, how do you department number 10 sales, right? You said 20 is purchase. So because the, the reason I'm confused when I'm trying to do myself is like it's all commas, right? So where do you, so I know where to start, but where to end and where to put a comma again, like else. department number. For, for every value you give a comma, this is the else one, ending, this is the else. How do you read it? Decode department number. If 10, then sales. If 20, then purchase. Else unknown. The last one is else. Else unknown. Exactly. So my question is, if if I if I put if, then I can really like you know get into my head. But if it's like there is no if and there is no else, right? So it's all like one line. That's the, the department number that's 10. That's the logic. Okay. Now I do like this. Okay. How do we read it? Let's see. I'm decoding only department number. I'm decoding department number. Wherever yes. it is 10, it is shown as sales. Wherever it is 20, it is shown as purchase. That's purchase, it. Yes. Nothing yes. else other than that. What about others? We are not decoding others. Yes. Okay. They, nothing not. will be displayed. There'll be null. Yes, there'll be null. Yes. Okay. The, okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty much null. Yes. Uh, that's that's where it's like I said. If if there is like if, if there is like you know that's the logic, but if there is like if hmm. department number ten says yeah, you can and, understand it will be user friendly. Okay, yeah. something very much friendly to you. You have it. I'll I'll show you the next one. The okay. the next okay. construct. We okay. had three right? NVL yeah. decode and case. Okay. Yes. Uh, NVL quad was having some power. Decode was much more powerful than NVL. Yes. Now case is still more powerful than decode what was okay. decode doing decode was only comparing equal to equal to values equal to 10 then sales equal to 20 yes. then purchase if you want to do some something beyond that greater than less than range based search if you want to do you can go for a case construct okay. so how does a case construct look like a case construct is like a program what you write case in programming we do it Okay, you are selecting employee number, employee name, salary, comma. You are applying case. When salary between this and this, it's like program what you write. Then, yield shall will be displayed. For all those employees whose salary is between this and this, yield shall will be displayed. When salary is between this and this, M shall, low shall, medium shall, average shall, and high shall will be displayed. Else, high shall. End keyword is used to end the case. So here is the end of the case. The whole function is done. Yeah. Okay. And then you have so, an so, alias so, name for the oh, oh, so you need to put end for to end the case. Yes. Okay. This is syntax. This is much more friendly than yes. decode. More yes. understandable. Yeah. Yes. So this you know, is also. More, no, I can't. It's like for me more understanding to do like you know when when to put when when to put if when uh -huh. to put else and then yes. when to put yes. yes yes exactly so this is also a construct available under generic functions or scalar functions okay which can be called on columns of any data type can you do the same thing with the the, the one the, the previous command we used like for our decode the decode no decode is not capable of between operator decode will only check equal to uh, ten then like this twenty equal to it only is equal to. We can't put any range based. Okay. When you look, okay. We can't say here department number greater than 10. We can't do anything. Only fixed values we can give. Equal to 10, okay. then sales. Equal to 20, then purchase. Okay. Sell. So that's a case. You said it's a case. So case is where actually. Yeah, case. case is a generic function again. 
Okay. We, we have three generic functions, no? NVL, decode, and case. Yeah, okay. So it's case is a generic function. When fall between 400 to 1000, then L fall, okay. So this is more like a phrase, like you can understand a phrase like yes. this. Yes. You understand, right? Yes. But so can I put everything into like one one big line? Yes, you can, but I'm not doing it so. It will be very difficult for you to understand and type. That is why I'm putting it in multiple lines. I know, I know, I know you put this one like this, but how can I do that in the, in the, in the SQL command? Just line? continue. You type continuously with spaces in between. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's it. So that's I, it. I, I, can't, I can't do exactly like you did on the, on the text document. You can do exactly like what I have done also. Oh, is it okay? Uh, okay, I'm trying to try that. How do you do that? Like, I just need to go. Just press enter. Enter. If I press enter, enter. It's, a, it's, only, it's, it's like it's like a, it's, a, it's giving an output. What output? It is giving. It cannot give oh, you so any output. Oh, is it two? Two is a line, or? It's a second line. It's a second line. You type oh, something. Oh, like okay. I don't know that. Sorry, I didn't know that. When fail bit, I because second I never done line. this before. Sorry, I, I never done this before. Sorry. No problem. 1,001 and 2,000. Okay, so so you can actually do the lines too then. I, I didn't know that we can do the lines because I thought it's only like one big uh, one, uh, no, one no. big phrase. One no, cell between 2,001 and 3,000. Then Uh, this is like a programming language, like you know, uh, when I say else and I see, I've seen my friends, right? When they say else and then they have the loops and stuff in their programming language. Yes, yes, yes. Then it's yes, easy yes. to understand. I, then I could, I then when I saw the codes a few times, I can understand. Like, and I, I was understanding like what it, what it does and stuff. Okay, now I yeah. from EMP. Okay. I'm missing keyboard. Keyboard. Oh no. ED. Control. So, so when I say, uh, so I think it's, I did something wrong. But when I, so how can I copy the same thing on the uh, SQL command prompt? You have to first open the code in the editor, yeah, make okay. all the changes, just close and come back. It will automatically come to the command prompt. Oh, it will automatically okay, no, no, but if I, what if I want to, okay, okay, what if I want to copy the same file, copy the same uh, okay. uh, text, I guess. Okay, the same text will automatically come to command prompt. Look at this, I, yeah. I, I type ED, I go to the editor, I have some code, I'm making some changes with the code, where mm -hmm salary greater than 1000. My code, my change is done. I close the file. Yeah. I save the changes. See, here is my code already there ready. Just give a slash. You can execute it. Okay, so don't save and then... Okay, yes, I got that one. So, how do we change that though? Like, how do we... I, I want to edit the, the same thing, the entire thing. Okay, type ed. You it will open the code in the editor. You no, know, yeah, yes, I did, and then, okay. And, and then, then I, you make the changes. What changes you may have to make? What mistakes you have done? Correct your code. Okay, that's how it. Okay, so. Okay, can I actually see? Can I actually see your thing, please? Your text. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. See. Now oh, I've pasted it. I've typed. I've opened it in the editor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so can, just a second, please. Uh, can you go? Can you can I can I see your text, please? Uh, when sell four hundred. Same. Yeah, what um, Sell case. When sell between. Okay, so can I say? Case when. Okay, when sell between 400 and 1000, then I'll sell. When sell between 4000, no. 
1,100, then sums are, ah, then 2,000. When sell between, then is a little time. Okay, and as else, yes, okay, from EMP. Then I close this one, right? I close this one. Yes, close this one. Don't save. And give a slash. Uh, and save, save, save. Save, okay. 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 I yes. see I'm closing. Yeah. Uh, you got, just give a slash. I've given a slash. Oh, slash, okay. Okay. And then enter. And enter. Okay, missing keyword again. Damn it. Okay. Ah, okay. Can you check if you don't mind, like, what have I... What you have I paste it. You paste it on the chat yeah. window. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, I did. I just did this. Okay. Is there anything wrong in there? Then there is a space here. After then, there is a space and A sal. After then, A sal, you have typed right. There is a space. I think the space is missing. Yes, that's it. When that's sal it. between 2001 and 3000, then, then, uh, there is yeah. a space. Uh, okay. You have not given that space. Space, no. What, really? No, there is space and it's all I see. There is space. Uh, click. Okay. Comma, any comma is missing. Then, then, then. Else in the from. It, it looks fine. Nothing expression. Yeah. Is there a semicolon? There should not be a semicolon. Okay, hi, sir. I'll script from EMP. Ah, again, again, ED. You have given two, two, 400 to 1000. It's and, right? Between something and something. Yeah. Oh, oh between and un, thousand, and uh, not two, and not two, not two, not two. Oh yeah, sorry. And now I close it, right? Now I close this one. And give a slash. Save it and give a slash. If you get executed, you get to see it. Okay. And now I got it. Thank you. Sorry. Yes. Okay. What it did okay, was. Chris. What, okay, just a second. What it did was sell TMP in M cell case when sell between. Okay, then. I, when an employee is earning a salary in this range. Yeah. Then it says one or M cell or high cell. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. You sorry, must have got the files. They are the PPTs. Yes. You must have got the files. They are the PPTs. Please go through them and practice. I'll yeah. continue in tomorrow's class. Okay? Thank you. We are thank done you. with all the scalar functions. Tomorrow okay. we'll do with the group function. Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.